Hello again, this is Brent, and today I'm going to show you how to upload soil sample data into your Trimble Egg software. Before we jump into the software, we want to make sure that the soil sample data that we're trying to upload is properly formatted. For this, we need to first take a look at the sample data itself to make sure we have all the proper information in there. The file type and information that you're working with may be different depending on what soil lab you use and what tests you ordered. So please adapt these steps to suit your specific needs. I'm going to start by opening the Excel file that my lab sent me. Aside from the lab results themselves, we need to make sure that the following columns exist, and if not, we need to add them with the proper information. First, field ID column. This was a column I had to add myself. There's a field ID associated to each field you have in the Trimble Egg software. Each sample must be associated with a specific field ID. If you need to find it, the field ID can be located at the top of the field manager page. Second, start and end depth. If you do not have one for the sample, just enter zero for start and six for end. Finally, date. The sample date must be entered in either of these formats. Something else to note, the import tool in the Trimble Egg software has the ability to import sample data from one field from one year, multiple fields from one year, and multiple fields from multiple years. The last thing we need to check before uploading the file is that it's saved in the proper format. For the Trimble Egg software, we're looking for it to be in a .csv format. Now back to the software. To get to the soil sample section of the Trimble Egg software, we're going to hover our mouse over the Analytics tab, then click Soil under the Lab Data section. To upload the file that we just worked on, I'm going to start by clicking Choose File. We're going to then locate the sample data that we want to upload. Click Open. Click Upload Soil Test from File. A new window will now open. This is where we can create a new upload template if we don't have one yet, or just use an existing template to complete the import. For this data, we're going to create a new template for the upload. The main idea when creating a template is to ensure that the drop-down items, which was populated from your soil sample file, matches with the top row. For any item that you don't have data for, just leave it blank. Once you've matched everything up, click Verify Format to check for errors. If anything is flagged, then you must make the change before proceeding. If your check is successful, then you can first click Save Format to save the upload format for next time. This can make things much easier in the future. And then click Submit Data to complete the upload. Once the upload has processed, the sample results will end up in the Manage Soil Test section of the appropriate sample year. From here, if you click on the icon on the right hand side of the field name, it will open up a PDF of the soil sample results. If you click the field itself, it will show you a summary of the tests submitted for that field. If you click on the individual test itself, you can then make manual adjustments if needed, and then use one of the save options at the bottom. This is also where you would delete a soil test, if need be. A few additional items that we're going to look at are located under the Manage button on the right-hand side of the main soil test screen. First, the Manually Add Soil Test option allows you to manually enter a soil test if needed. Start by assigning the test to a field, enter any applicable data that you need, and click Save. You can also use one of the Save options below to download any tests that you've already uploaded. 
for the bottom three, you just need to check the desired fields first. And finally, you can import the sample results from this year to the next by again checking them off and clicking Export Selected Tests to that year. For this option to work, the field you're exporting from must exist in the year you wish to import it to.